Okay. Guys, um, <coughs> you don't always make a statement in a loss, but but sometimes you do. Do you kind of look at this game that way, that you outshoot a team 50 to 34, 11 nothing in overtime and, and lose in a skills competition? Do you think maybe Edmonton made a statement tonight, even though the game ultimately didn't go the way you wanted it to? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought we played a good game. You know, obviously, don't never like a loss. Um, you know, I thought we could have, should have found a way to get two, and uh, only found a way to get one. So, um, always disappointing that way. Um, you know, but there's a lot of things to like in that one. Uh, that overtime was something else. I mean, I mean, some of it was on a power play, but it was still 11 nothing. Can you kind of just describe that that frantic five minutes there, where it looked like you guys had probably half a dozen chances to knock one in? Yeah, lots of looks. You know, four and. Four and threes are tough. Um, you know, they really are. I think they're one of the harder power plays. Um, you know, but I thought we got a lot of good looks and just couldn't find a way to bang one home. Miko, uh, just maybe your thoughts on how you felt in there tonight. You made some saves that were uh, pretty athletic uh, in that crease, and just how did you feel? Uh, I, I felt good, and the team played like really well, like front of me. That makes makes my job pretty easy, and uh, it was like a playoff kind of game. There wasn't too many quality chances, and um, I really like how how we played. Tonight. Connor, your coach has talked a couple times now about the way you guys are playing for one another in his eyes. He's, he sort of sees that in your group, that that element is is very much there. Do you agree with that? How do you, you know, what do you see on, in the, on that front? Well, I mean, we're scratching and clawing to get in. That's all we're doing. Um, you know, it's a dogfight to, to get a playoff spot this year, and, you know, we're just trying to find a way to get in. <clears throat> Your team, uh, this was a patient game, right? It's 0-0 most of the way through. Uh, you guys never, you, know, you exhibited some some patience and some defensive work that maybe you guys have been working on for a while. Is this the kind of game that has to get played in you know, the win games in May? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a playoff, playoff style game. Um, you know, not, a, not a ton of chances going either way. And um, you know, I liked how we, we stuck with it and, and hung in there against a good team and um, found a way to get a point. Miko, you and Mike Smith are both at the very top of your game here right now. Um, I don't know who's going to play more or when or how it's going to go, but can you just tell us about, you know, the state that both of the Oilers goalies are in right now? It hasn't been much better than this for a while. Yeah. I don't know. I just try to focus like one, ga one game at a time, and uh, when it's my turn to turn the play, then I'm want to play as well as possible and um, Mike has been playing really well lately and um, I think it's the only, only positive thing that two, two goalies are playing well.